Thanks for messing around in Vampire Survivors Beswick 233. I think it's 233. No, it's 323. No, it's 333. One of those numbers is correct. Uh, anyway, we are doing some Ode to Castlevania in the Vampire Survivors collab DLC with Castlevania. I'm tired, okay. Uh, unlocking Soma Cruise. Gains 1% might every level. Amazing. Immune to health drain. Once per life. Triggers soul steal after receiving fatal damage. Crazy good. Starts with a hand grenade. 10,000 cold for Soma Cruise. All right. Let's get that Ode to Castlevania done. Evolve that hand grenade. Uh, let's see. What could... Well, since you're not a Belmont, you don't need to whip. All right. What would upgrade you? Garlic. Let's just max out my weapons ASAP. Silver winds. Pearl Merle. Okay, our grenade. Hmm. Could duplicate or add another grenade? Oh, it doesn't fire very fast. Definitely going to need that. Okay, what would actually boost it? Spinach, Empty Tome, Candle Labrador? Candle Labrador, it's got to be in Candle Labrador. Damage affected by growth. Got a lot of greed. Yeah, it's got to be Candle Labrador. For a hand grenade? That just makes perfect sense there. Okay, and let's go Laurel and Clock Lancet so I can actually take down De Red Mask of the Red Death, see if that changes anything. I guess armor bracer would make sense. A bracer already goes for block a knife. Or a curved knife into block a knife. It should be fine there. Well down reduction. I got a mosey on on. So I guess the hand grenade turns into an RPG when it evolves. Okay, so Amorola Crown and Labrador. Cracked Orb for more levels. Then hmm, Empty Tome. That's where we go. Then we can just grab things as they come. I refuse to believe it's not Candle Labrador. Makes too much sense to not be. Also, I already know uh, it's the Aegis for the Discus, Empty Tome for the Shuriken, and Bracer for the Block Knife. So the options it has are quite limited. Doesn't mean my stuff is gonna be. Oh, Alchemy Whip. I'll get that hair grenade up. Why have I had some of the bat? A big old giant bat, almost classic of Castlevania bosses, beyond Dracula himself. Really actually hard to see if when the grenades throw off. Man, they're so tiny. Not much is going to get into me. And once I start picking up other stuff, it'll be even crazier. Man, just no passives. Passives at all. Pretty bad, that. Dominus runes. Those are like the runes of Dracula, and Soma Cruz is the... one of the possible vessels of Dracula reincarnated. There are many. But eventually, he stops it all. It's not Spellbinder. That one makes sense, right? Gotta be Candle Labrador. Well, actually, oh, it's the Spittle dudes. Who aren't really doing what they're supposed to do in Spittle. Uh, it's damage up by 20. Kind of hard to actually hit things with it. Yay, Silver Wind. More garlic. Whipping time, whipping time, I love to whip things. Ooh, a mirror. Some floor chicken. 
Good, there's my crown. That'll boost up the wind whips stuff as well. Maximize that garlic. The knockback is, uh, I can really feel it with how hard they're getting pushed back. I mean, have that many things that are good at knockback otherwise. Man, King Labrador does not want to come and play. Or Pomerola. A lot of the passives are just missing. Well, I have enough weapons and stuff that I should be getting Clock Lancet before air long. And with that... Oh, there's my Pomerola. No chests yet. They're a bit too far away for my tastes. Yeah. Crab battle shouldn't be too long. Soul Steel. And my damage will just keep going up and up and up because... Ooh, 58 on a grenade. That's not actually great. And really? You're gonna give me a treasure goblin? Alright, no boss at four. All things I do not want right now. Remember, I gotta get mad groove. So I can actually grab the Metaglio, so I don't need to do too much moving. I just have to go after bosses. Okay, so that's what you look like when you're not a giant pile of numbers and hit markers. Whoa. Ouch, that hurt badly. Silverwind. Oh, Spellbinder would actually be decent because Silverwind. But, unlikely. Brown. Ow. There's something else hitting me, or are they just all getting through that hard? Soul Steel. Hey, full heal. You love to see it. I don't want to grab that till I'm fully able to take advantage of it. Lock Lancet sure doesn't want to show itself, huh? There's our goblin. Hoppy, hoppy, hoppy. Pretty good. Soma faster? Yeah, Soma's faster. Not a surprise it's Soma after all. That's the regular chest from the Medusa. Crab battle. Get that crab battle one day. Ooh, man, Clock Lancet, it does not want to show itself. Knockback from the garlic is very severe on this guy. Here we go. Now, once you go down, I can just grab your goodies ASAP. If only the passives were so... pick up a bull. Eight. Uh, da -da -da. Oh yeah, I had a ton of room for passives because of just the way things were set. But yeah, looking for empty tome. That doesn't need to be maxed out to get the elemental whip. The super whip? Double whip? Whatever you want to call it. Spinach is fine. Oh no, I'm looking for Candle Labrador. Oh, well, I can just get Empty Tome or whatever with one of the Armadillos. Whatever I'm missing. Oh, no Can Arbor, it's usually somewhat common. And if I wait till my passes are maxed out, then I can just grab it there ASAP. Well, the Laurel will get the benefit of the Aegis, right? I finally get the Treasure Goblin down. Uh, yep, it's still running in and getting knocked back. Yay, yeah, there we go. That'll get me something. Soul Eater, of course. It's going to be Soul Eater. Why wouldn't it be Soul Eater? 
Regis is on the map. Crown is level. Level is power. Man, sure it's taking a while for this thing to go down. Thought the lack of curse would have helped me, but I guess the lack of damage is hurting me more. There we go, and that gets me the Spear Tornado tip. And the Tome. Oh wait, it probably has to be maxed out Candle Arbador then? Or it just, you know, went to the whip first. That's why I wanted it. Get some damage up in here. Huh, not Candle Arbador, where it does have to be maxed out. Okay, let's get some Candle Arbador levels then. Really? Silver Wind? Actually, getting Festive Wind will be very helpful. For this. Eyeball, eyeball, uh, eyeball. That's the sound effect for game killer gems going off. Maybe the tornado is doing that. Man, this has been pretty poor. One level for festive winds. That's why I'm waiting here. Gotta get that festive winds since that'll massively boost up my damage. And survivability too. Soul steel. Soul steel. We got our chest for clock lancedon. Ball of chest for festive winds, and that'll ignite at every boss that dares to get in my way. All right, let's grab the other tomes. Oh heck, let's grab everything. We got power overwhelming. All right, Candle Labrador first. It has to be Candle Labrador. I refuse to believe anything else would make even the remotest bit of sense. All right, Shuriken too. I want to throw some Shurikans. Better find to get it now. More, more shots, more of everything. Look at all them wind spirits going off. Every which way. Oops, wasn't cut over enough. Like what even else could it be? Spinach, I have spinach. Tornus box, I guess, maybe. Because curse, because Dracula's skull? Eh. Definitely not Spellbinder, Bracer, no. I mean, brace or no, because block a knife. Spellbinder, no, because tome, maybe. This is the boss you have to beat with Julius to unlock Soma. Get hit by all them festive winds. And the Arcana chest will be popping up soon, too. And with that comes Mad Groove and picking up everything. Better hope those levels start skyrocketing, Soma. You got a lot of them to go. Wait, what am I doing? Go after you. Increase that damage you take. Yep, like I thought. Has to be Can Labrador. Both hand grenade, explosions, propagate. Ooh, propagate. Oh, good God. Holy crap. That's amazingly strong. Nothing else in the domain of evolving, so let's just level up. Right, fur pickups. Bracer is probably the best option. Empty tome and the karma off of the armadillos. Oh, I get Laurel. 
No, spinach for damage first. Need that empty tome. That's the wind is uh, lagging a bit behind. Boss down. Door door. Huh, why was it blue? Where are you at, Arcana Chess? Give me my mad grooving. All right, I want Empty Tome, the Karma, the Mona's Karma. Crown being maxed out would help considerably too. Hmm, what else? What else? I'll then just grab the other pickups all at once. Gotta see if... I mean, nothing in the character unlocks or secret says I need to defeat Red Death here in order to unlock anything, but I should try it anyway. The secrets and whatnot. I've been firing the rocket launcher in the right direction. Man, my damage is so low. There you go. There's my mad groove. Right from the start. Oakley, Dokley. Everything is maxed out, so let's grab out our thing. Aroma's mana. Grab the knife. I don't think there's anything else to do. Other than just get weapons, get stats. And take out bosses over and over and over, boss. Ooh, I most certainly do not want to go in a doppelganger with just Laurel. Yeah, it's this one that leads to Shadow Guy. Laurel. Oh, five. 200. Quite a lot of damage. The Atlantean, they're getting beat up really badly now. That festive wind can actually accomplish things. Add on that damage reduction. Every hit increases the damage they take. Well, let's get your Jisoo out of the pool. Just up there. RPG. Oh yeah, they're not surviving that. And, well, with the Aegis. Increases my invincibility time. Wow, even then. That triggered the fatal damage, Soul Steel. The only time after getting damaged. It's only after getting damaged, so. Not the Laurel invincibility either. That's... Probably the single weakest passive there could be, right? Like, you really don't get many... I didn't even know you got invincibility frames after getting damage. That's why they did damage so quickly, because it was all hit... Uh, hit detection. Why not? Hey, you got frozen by the Ice Fang. Neat. Uh, let's see, I got Laurel maxed out, so... Getting the Metaglio. Is not the worst idea. Get all them sweet gems. And empty tome, of course. Neutron bombed. You just stood there and be neutron bombed. Da -da -da. Oh, another chest. Can't forget a chest. What would I do without a chest? Oh man, it's so far back. I did not notice that at all. Oh, it's because it got pulled in by the mad groove. Probably right as I was killing something. Well, I didn't even notice the eyeball spawn, so. 
Man, that area is huge. It could go so much bigger with Boogaloo. Weapons first. Oh, right. It wasn't the ice thing that was freezing things. It was the clock lancet. Duh. Up and over. And one of these shortcuts you just a bit. Not like by the greatest amount, but hey, any seconds saved are time saved. An eye out for them eyeballs. I want to lose the chest down low. Let's go up top. Hasn't fallen just yet. Go back up. Knockback on Soul Eater is very dangerous. Yeah, this is a good time to take you out. Yay, chest. Why does it keep giving me weapons instead of passives? Jeez. Maybe I just have too many passives. Me, Taglio. Oh, my kill counter is actually terrible, all things considered. Oh, I do have the feeling that I'm missing a big red gem. May not be great, but it should be better than this. Red gem, red gem, where you at? Let's go fight the Puppet Master or whatever this is. Faster trekking up and then trekking up and over here instead of trying to go elsewhere. Alright, Puppet Master, what do you got for me? Nope, oh, you got five more curse. Will I allow you to put up a fight? Or are you just going to be frozen? Entire time. Nope, you could not put up a fight. There's definitely a big red gem out there somewhere for me. Oh, anything that could even remotely evolve? No, not a chance. More chest time. Why am I getting the ice book? It can't evolve. Maybe getting the shuriken since it could. Wait, is that the top? Oh yeah, it is. This is where nothing really is. The doppelganger's closest. I really want to fight the doppelganger right now, though, with the way my weapons are set up. Sounds like a bad idea. More area. More area. More duration. Empty Tome is maxed, right? Yeah. I think we're closer to getting an infinite corridor than not. Yeah, the other two are still a good ways off. I mean, the RPG is probably pretty dang good. It's just kind of hard to get use out of it. I mean, that area is huge. The grenade doesn't seem too good, but man, when you're blowing up half the screen like this, and it could get even bigger. I get a Tronus box from you. Give me Tronus box. Oh, hey, early Arcana, good. I don't know what amount actually does for this. So what else? Twilight Requiem, no. 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 Nothing bouncy is what I want. Heart of Fire, though. That explosion? Crazy good. Crazy. Should be crazy. Yeah, how far off am I anything? 
still very far off. And I got a Metaglio left in. Tails. Tails did fail. Should be getting discus instead of the tome. I just, I see the tome and I want it. I don't know why. Oh, and there's so many. Racer? Oh. What am I doing? I need to be going after the other bosses. Zephyr first, then move up and fight Abaddon. Zephyr will give me the book, and now that I have the Bracer, I can evolve that book. Another Frozen Eyeball. Keep my eye out for the chest. It's down a bit more. Wow, that eyeball is surviving for a while. All right, here you are. Here you are. Did I pass it? Oh, I passed it so long ago. I got distracted by eyeballs. Psychedelic, eh? There you are. Aroma Smana. Oh, you're not frozen or anything. You're just on me. I don't think it matters that much. Discus. Still no big red gem level. Tarjan. Or Aegisan. They say it looks more like a Tarj than the actual Tarj. Oh, hey, Atlantean. Where'd you come from? Seriously, where? There was nothing here. Gale Force can actually evolve. I need the charge because, or the Aegis because it's faster for Discus. Minotaur down. Discus up. Knife. Oh, I'll NFT you. Get an egg out of that. Not even half to a hundred. Pretty slow. Whips are strong. Silver ring almost maxed out. Gold ring's not that far behind once I have infinite corridor. Oh, right. If I have corridor, I could try one of the other doors. I mean, unlikely, but who knows. Yeah, the knockback isn't helping. Actually. Uh, you're frozen, so you're not actually hurting me. Good clearance in total, though, from that RPG. Whoever could have expected a frickin' rocket launcher would do a lot of damage. Or a lot of area damage. Sure can. Of these, the parm. Curve knife is closer to actually being an evolved weapon. Man, the knockback is actually causing the issue here from garlic. About it, I'd probably have been done. Oh, good, he froze. Discus maxed out. Good. Hey, Spellbinder. That's not actually helpful. I have enough inventory woes as it is. I'm not getting the levels I need. There's the Arcana. Oh, Neil. Evolution, despite it. I'm not saying it did. Needs to be maxed out. Neutron bombed. I wonder if it's easier to go in, faster going through the top to get to the plant and going double bottom. Oh, hey, finally, Metaglio, right. 
Man, they've not been giving me the rings of the Metaglios for a while, huh? What? Oh, yeah, I'm not used to coming in from the top, so I didn't notice the path, but yeah, it's probably faster coming through the top. And if it's kind of closer to the bottom, I think. Roma means more enemies, means more XP. Armadillo? No. Ring it is. Knife. Oh. Curve knife. Curve them apart. Also stand no chance, but anything else is just getting knocked back so badly. I can't actually get the kills I need. Oh, still, Laurel will work enough, but if I can freeze death and with Spellbinder and whatnot. And the ring, it might just barely last long enough to get through the fight against Red Death. We need to clarify more now, because we got probably got regular death coming up at some point. Good old classic purple death. Okay, so the rings are five off, Metaglios are six off. Really got to focus on getting them up now. Don't have that many levels left. Got to make sure I have two chests available to evolve them. Well, at least here, they seem to be more knockback resistant. Means higher levels. But grief, they do not want me to give me the bloody things. Well, you're close to actually evolving at this point. Ooh, yay, big chest. With not that much I want, but hey, block a knife. Wait, Bracer isn't maxed out, so I didn't mean to max out. Did I? Book. Oh, I should have gone for Gemini because I'm going to have trouble book. Uh, is the only thing left Doppelganger and the Medusa head? Actually, with Slogan and Guybar around, I can just do it there. Use up these chests and head over to them. Bracer, Bracer. Oh. Gemar Topper, whatever it's called. We'll need that. If I get it there. Eventually it'll work, right? I can't even get hit to take damage to actually make the uh, discus thing do better. That's Gale Force, isn't it? Yeah. Low level Gale Force. A rocket launcher. Nice big explosions. Don't you love explosions? I love explosions. Who doesn't like Mr. Torg? Da -da -da. We go. Wait, is this one farther or closer to them? Oh, this one's very far away, actually. Great bracer out of the pool. I messed up the teleporter fiercely. Yeah, this is much closer to them. The other one is mostly for doppelganger. Hey, silver rings finally maxed out. Get Ice Fang out of the pool, too. Da -da -da, Karasu. Ah, now things are nice and nonsensical. Take a little left. But right and gold still need plenty. Alright, one more on the right and three more on gold. I'm close to getting Crimson Shroud, at least. 
Uh, here's the boss. There's the boss. Medusa head and boss. Wow, it's already dead. Oh no, it's not. It's just the explosions from the RPG made it think it was dead. Come on, armor. Okay. Ah, all these vacuums and I still, woohoo, there's Crimson Shroud. And also, oh good, priority. This will get me the Blizzard Fang thing. Fuck this. Oh. Kokitis, Kokitis. Seen that word for so long. I know it's one of the Greek hells. Roman hells? One of them. One of them silly types of hells. Or, no, it's not. Or is it one of the rivers in Hades? Oh, right, I have to stand out to get both of them. Where'd you go, Guyben? Logan? Whatever one you are. I think Slogan's the beak guy and Gyvin's the gargoyle demon. One chest. My ah, damage is not the greatest. But there is infinite corridor. Nothing's stopping me now. They got really terrible. As time goes on. Oops. Didn't mean to grab that chest just yet. Yagu sure can. I sure can win. What do we got? We got armor and rock biter and gale force left. Should be able to get gale force at least. Then I don't need to worry about death at all. Well, red death at all. Regular death at all. Who knows what's coming up. Oh, did not pick it. Oh, I did. Good. Yeah, teleport. No way that's going to happen. Can I speed break? Come on, let me lag break. Just mash A for level ups. It doesn't matter at this point. No stone mask. The other one is armor. Armor has evolved nothing here. Means it's gotta be something else uh, coming up. Uh, what do I have? Javelin. I mean, that would just make sense for Bracer, but Bracer's already being used for the knife. Huh. Iron armor for Javelin, kind of. Iron ball. I think Iron ball is John. John and Jonathan right next to each other. Raging fire. Labrador. Spinach. Fire wand is spinach. Who knows if that'll take though. Uh, Tronus box also possible because when some lag break. Anyway, Tronus box is also possible because of flames a misspell and ash is a muspel. Oh, I left a chest bad. Random always. Wait, only quarter might for the knife? Huh. Huh, that's concerning. Well, I have infinite quarter and crimson shroud, so if this door requires either of those, then I have them. Doppelganger isn't going to accomplish much. And I just needed to evolve the hand grenade into the RPG to unlock the Jonathan. 
Oh, then I can have Jonathan and Charlotte together. Neat. Okay, that's not opening even for these. Just for no reason. I guess candy box. Oh, another whip. Who knows? There's another chest around where I am. Well, did spike up somewhat, but the number was not particularly great. Hi, Death. Want to be annihilated? Well, thank you for being annihilated, Death. And that'll... Oh, yeah, you got... Best of Wind actually meant you took more damage from that. Ah, oh, my first white hand on this map. Did I ever do white hand on Neo Galaga? Yes, yes, of course, because Big Fuzz exists. Hi, white hand. Nothing seems to have changed. Perfectly normal. But you're supposed to be best friends with Soma. Abaddon with Soma Cruz. Oh, hey, Yoko. Evolve the hand grenade for Jonathan. And get the hand grenade to a level 7. What about damage? Infinite corridor cheats. Otherwise, a million with the RPG. RPG did a lot of damage in 15k. Rock Riot was catching up very quickly. Man, that didn't even evolve. Spells seem really strong. Alright, that's Soma done. Next up, in our quest to unlock Shinoa, where we have to unlock Eric. Here we have to get Jonathan. Wait. Wait, I don't have to do John at all, do I? Lock the javelin. Yeah. Okay. You get Richter. I need Maria. Get Maria. I need dust, which I've done. And Chinoa. Evolve the iron ball and the Alucard spear. To unlock Eric, I need to evolve the javelin from Jonathan. To unlock John. I need to evolve the Raging Fire from Charlotte. So the next video is going to be Jonathan Morris and Charlotte all in together. Because, well, why wouldn't you do that in Vampire Survivors? All right, and Soma Cruz has taken us down another on the Beswick. Had to get his name up ahead of time because, well, it's far down. 1,964 down and 94 characters in total. Brings us up to 292. It only gets larger. Next time up, it's continuing to try to get to Richter, which means they have to go through Jonathan and Charlotte and a whole bunch of other stuff. Stick around and find out what's happening tomorrow with Jonathan Morris. Thanks for watching. I hope you had some fun. Please like, dislike, comment, subscribe if you haven't, and thank you anyone who has. Either way, have a good day and keep messing around the Vampire Survivors Beswick Ode to Castlevania style.